Hello and welcome to the premier edition of Tailgaters, a sports show that combines two of my favorite elements, sports and food. This week we're going to be talking about the World Series edition, which means a matchup between Kansas City and San Francisco. And we've got a matchup of hot dogs as well here, the Kansas City hot dog versus the San Francisco hot dog. On the show today, Brendan Jones and I are going to be discussing the reasons why we favor the teams that we do, and also the traditional flair of the hot dogs that we're going to be creating on the show. Brendan, you are a Kansas City Royals fan. Talk to the fans at home why you think the Kansas City Royals are going to come on top of this World Series. Okay, I think the Kansas City Royals are going to come out on top because, one, they're the underdogs. They didn't even have 90 wins in the season. They won the wild card. They almost won the division, but let's not get going on that. And I believe that the corners of their infield and outfield with Moustakis, Hosmer, Kane, Aoki, they, they just have a really strong defense. And they got some decent hitters too, especially uh, Billy Butler. He comes in clutch all the time. And then we have some decent starting pitchers, Danny Duffy, Shields. I agree with you. I think, I think Ned Yost does a good job of handling his bullpen, and, and they are, they're a formidable team. But listen, listen closely. You hear that sound? That could either be the sizzling of hot dogs or the sizzling of the San Francisco Giants baseball bats right now because when the postseason comes on, that's when the Giants turn it on. They have excellent starting pitching, a great bullpen. In fact, when you looked at these two teams matched up overall, you saw two very, very similar teams, except I do believe that the edge in managing has to go to the San Francisco Giants in this regard because Bruce, Bo uh, excuse me, Bruce Bochy does a real good job handling his pitchers as well. But the thing I like about Bruce Bochy is he's a decision maker. And the one thing that we saw living here in Detroit is that when you are hesitant in making decisions, bad things happen to your bullpen. If a guy's struggling through four and a third innings, Bochy's going to go out there, he's going to get the baseball from one of his players and take it and turn it over to that very, very strong bullpen. But like I was saying, I favor the San Francisco Giants in, in the po postseason just based off of what I've seen. Um, a couple years ago, Kung Fu Panda, Pablo Sandoval, comes up big. It's a mirror image of what he does before. And then Hunter Pence, the guy who disappears during you know, the regular season and looks like he's not even a ball player at all, he just somehow turns it on. And they take all these little parts that make up a greater sum of the whole and turn themselves into a, a ball club. But enough about the sports, right? We know that already. We know that I favor the San Francisco Giants. You're a Kansas City Royals guy. But let's talk about food here. You've got the traditional Kansas City hot dog. Explain to everybody at home what goes into a Kansas City hot dog. On a Kansas City hot dog, there's sauerkraut, melted Swiss cheese, and then it's topped with spicy brown mustard. That sounds pretty good. Not bad. So mm -hmm. throw it all together and let's see what this thing looks like. So first you're going to take a little bit of sauerkraut, right? A little bit of you're sauerkraut. Sprinkle that right over the top, right? And it surprises me because, Brendan, I was shocked that the Kansas City dog would have sauerkraut on it. It doesn't seem like that would be traditional. When I think of Kansas City, I think of barbecue, I think of steak. You Same, know? yeah. Yeah, so it was a little bit strange for me to see this, you know, the sauerkraut. And you have what here? What is this that you're sprinkling on top right now? Uh, Swiss cheese. And then is the Swiss cheese supposed to be melted? Yeah, All it's right. supposed to be melted. I'll tell you what, let's take those dogs. Let's put them right here on the side of the grill. We'll throw those babies on the, uh, on the little skillet that we have over here. It's kind of a George Foreman knockoff, and we're going to melt that cheese on there as well. Get that baby burning up there a little bit. While that's cooking, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I found about the San Francisco dog, which, again, flip-flopped on me. Now, the idea behind a San Francisco dog is the basic secret ingredient, which if you can see right here, is bacon. All right? Bacon. In a traditional San Francisco dog, they will literally wrap bacon around the hot dog itself and then cook it to perfection. We don't have that option. We don't have the time here. We know we're a small time operation and we're trying to get the best out of what we can with what we have. So what we did is we took some Oscar Mayer microwavable bacon, we cooked it up, then we threw it on the skillet for a little while as well. And then what we did was kind of crumble it into, as you can see, little pieces like this, topped it on, on top of a hot dog. And I don't care who you are, or where you come from, but if you crumble bacon, wrap it up in a hot dog, you're, you're looking good. Now, another secret ingredient, oh, I'll tell you what though, that sauerkraut dog's looking pretty good too. Let's take that off of the, uh, the skillet here, put it onto your plates. The other secret ingredient that we found out is used in San Francisco, 
is Frank's Red Hot, okay? Frank's Red Hot is very similar to uh, your traditional hot sauces, but it gives it a little bit of spice. So if you take a look at the hot dog here from San Francisco, you've got tradition, right? San Francisco steeped in tradition. You've got bacon, a little down home flavor. Think Madison Baumgartner. And then you got spice. Think of the Latin American players like Pablo Sandoval, right? These guys, it has it all on the, uh, on the San Francisco dog. Now take a look at this though, Brent. Show off your, your uh, masterpiece there. On the Kansas City dog, we got some, it looks great. We got sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and we're going to add some spicy brown mustard and it should be better than San Francisco dog. Pump it up there. You put your secret ingredient on, I'll put mine on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call in special guest, Brandon Kalinowski. Brandon, come on in here. Come on into the shot. And we're going to just dab a little bit of Frank's Red Hot on there because you don't want to overdo it. Okay. Brandon, stand right in the middle over here. This is Brandon Kalinowski. Brandon is going to be the uh, host on the show in our future episodes. So Brandon, you get the, uh, the great fortune of testing out the two dogs. Why don't you go ahead and taste what I like to call the underdog hot dog. Take a chew, let it all soak into the palate there, all right? And describe what's going on right now for you. Well, you know, you can taste the combination of the spicy mustard and the sauerkraut and you know that combination just tastes really good okay all right fair enough so now I, would, I do have to say brandon kalinowski is of polish descent they are a big fan of the sauerkraut so there might be a, a little bit of a you know a little bit of favoritism going on here but that's all right now in comparison taste this san francisco dog and tell me what you think okay. all right oh man <laughs> oh man KC dog still comes out on top, right? That's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. All right, what do you have going on here as far as taste goes? Well, the hot sauce, oddly enough, brings out a lot of flavor in it. Wow, out of the bacon? Yeah. Wow, good deal. Um, I just like the, I like hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you like hot sauce. All right, so here's, here's where the decision comes down. Right now, San Francisco has a slight edge in the series. Mm -hmm. They're up three games and two at the time that we are filming this, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be decided here in the next couple days. But if we were talking about the World Series of Taste, the World Series of Hot Dogs, which team comes out on top? Well, you know, since uh, it was the last game that the Giants will be able to play at home, I think the Royals have a bit of an advantage playing at home. So I think, I think KC might come out on top on this one. Are you talking Kansas City hot dog coming out on top of this one? Oh, man, there you have it. The Kansas City hot dog is the winner. Kansas City, the, com the combination of sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and the, perfect, uh, the, the perfectly done hot dog, which, by the way, we're using Nathan's famous hot dogs right now, is just a winning combination in Brandon's mind. So one thing's for certain. The Giants are ahead in games three games to two right now. And it remains to be seen who's going to come out on top in the, in the World Series. But as far as we're concerned, in the eyes of Brandon Kalinowski, Brandon Jones, and unfortunately here, I, I gave it my best, but it fell just a little bit short. The Kansas City Hot Dog is the winner of the Hot Dog Tailgaters World Series. But don't worry, Giants are going to come out on top. No. For Brandon Jones, Brandon Kalinowski, and the rest of our crew here on Tailgaters, thanks for watching our premiere edition. Look forward to seeing you in future episodes. Take it easy.